in an extraordinary performance. Rahak set a personal best by almost 24 hours. He becomes... This, is, this list is long, so you have to go, You can applaud politely because it, it's really extraordinary. Personal best by almost 24 hours. He, he's now ranked third all-time with the fourth fastest performance in history. Only the two world records and also our brother uh, Osprey Hano Alto have faster times. And only it's Osprey Hano's absolute ultimate fastest time that's ahead of Gra. Wow. This is a new Australian record. It's the fourth fastest performance out of 110 finishes so far in the 16-year oh! history of the race. And he's the third man in history to average over 70 miles a day. He averages 71.36 miles or 114.848 kilograms. His final time, <laughs> kilometers, sorry, kilograms. That's probably how much food he ate. Extraordinary performance. 114.848 kilometers. His 3,100 miles, the total time was 43 days, 10 hours, 36 minutes, and 39 seconds. Congratulations. I'd like to uh, thank firstly Sri Chin Moy for running with us every step of the way. And um, all these children, helpers and servers who helped help us make this uh, journey possible. And it inspires us in so many ways. And um, you know, personally I had such great help from there's such a karma here. This is from mum and dad. They brought him some flowers for, for keeping me alive. Um, and uh, the fantastic food we had from the cook. So. Thanks very much. And obviously this is Guru's journey and pilgrimage we all undertake together. And I'm uh, so grateful for finishing. And uh, that's all. I'm just going to try and convey how difficult this race is. We had we started with 12 competitors, and uh, early in the race, 1,000 miles, we lost one runner, and we have 11 left. Suchi Moore said that these runners are the real impossibility challengers, and what they go through is extraordinary. What you see, you see them covered with rashes, and this is the, on the downswing of it. When he goes home, he soaks in a tub of Epsom salts, and he has to deal with this all day. If you look at his feet, you wouldn't want to look at his feet. He's missing most of his toenails. <laughs> and you compound that on the, just the daily pounding on the concrete and how many shoes he's gone through, the indigestion, having to deal with portisans, and that's the comfort that they have here, just the portisans, dealing with the mosquitoes, or not the mosquitoes so much as the bees and the kids on the sidewalk, the bicycles. The humidity of this race is probably the worst we had. We've had heat last year, but probably the heat was worse. But this year, the humidity was just extraordinary. It, it would rain, but it wouldn't do any good. As soon as the rain ended, the heat came back and just sucked all, the, the, all your energy. And this is what they had to put up uh, storm after storm after storm. These are all the runners. So what you see is someone who is absolutely elated that the race is over. But to get an inkling of what they've gone through, is just you would have to be here for the full gist of the whole race. They're really, really extraordinary runners, and we're really proud of Grahok. Let's have another big hand for Grahok, the real champion. Yeah. from our spectacular cooks. I, we can't praise them enough. <laughs> Led by New Okay, good. 
and everyone is invited to get a piece, otherwise I have to eat it. Yeah. Do you want Sacha Karma and his brother? Both. Sacha Karma and Ian, the group photo over here.